Wow. Oh. We only got two here. A minimalist pack. A piano and a ukulele. What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the most adventurous show on the internet. My name is Riley, and as always, I'm joined by my flirtatious co-host, Dignan. What, 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 what's up, folks? Looking hot. <laughs> Today we're playing Digital Foursquare. This is Guess the Rapper from the Starter Pack. All right, if you haven't seen this one before, this is how it's gonna work. We're gonna see a four panel starter pack that represents an artist or their fandom, and we're gonna have to guess who that artist is from that starter pack. One point for each one we get right. Me versus Dignan versus you, Patrick in London. I knew we were gonna beat you today, so I covered my toast and beans too. But not baked beans, Adderall. I'm focused, you're done. Before we get into the first one, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you wanna see more, go to HiveMindTV.com and check out our merch, including a new Cartoon Puns poster. It is on the screen, buy it. Also, our Patreon is linked in the description, $5 a month, you get extra content, you get all that stuff you get to play against us in the games like Patrick from London. That's only three and a half quid a month. <laughs> what is that? It's like a mom ringtone sort of thing for text. <laughs> all right, first starter pack, we've got a crumpled up flannel. Ugly. We've got cargo pants. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on in this other one. Who's this? Loki look like me. Is this Mark Hoppus from Blink-182? <laughs> no, not is, he, not is he the starter pack, is this him in yeah, that yeah, third yeah. pen? <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's like a representation of their fandom? Kinda looks like someone your wife would cheat on you with. Mm, okay. <laughs> Maybe that's just my own experience, but it looks just like that guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Looks just like that guy. <laughs> and last one, Fortnite. Oh! No, you can't be mad about Fortnite. My third wife cheated on me with the game. She got too into the game and it tore your marriage apart? And she said, one more game, one more game. And I said, honey, these babies are crying. Just grab the baby formula. Where are we dropping, boys? <laughs> Three, yep. two, one. Travis Scott. Travis Scott. It is Travis Scott. Bingo. Okay. Dignan. Yes. Read any good books lately? Oh, yeah, actually. Mm -hmm. um, I've been reading, uh, what's that called? Um, oh, Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. I've been plowing through it, just really giving it to the pages. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wow. Oh. We only got two here. A minimalist pack. A piano and a ukulele. Now, the blank panels might have a secret meeting. Am I wrong or am I not? Do you think maybe it's like cocaine on a white table? Could be. Maybe a snowman in a snowstorm? Exactly. You know what? I just came up with an idea. Okay. I'm going to get all of them right. That's my idea. I want to get them all right too. Is that, am I piggybacking? Yeah, I, I would just, I wouldn't do that. I would get at least one wrong so that you're not really like, you're not biting me. Okay, I'm gonna get a couple wrong and some of them are gonna be embarrassing. Three, two, one. Polo G. Not starting here, Polo G. It's Polo G. Piano G. Can you 360 no scope somebody on PS5? I PS5 no scoped somebody. Yesterday. There you go. Is that good? That's good. Oh, wow. Uh oh. It's just four water bottles. Ah, uh, I think I get it. You know how Jesus turned water into wine in the Bible? I do, yeah. Last week, I turned wine into puke. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we? Yeah, I'm still doing the bit where I get them all right, by the way. Okay. Just so you guys know. Three, two, one. Ugly God? I went with Ski Mask the Slump God. It is Ski Mask the Slump God. Looks like I'll be piggybacking your bit all the way to the victory lane party down at my house. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, Ski Mask does say, what are What are but Ugly God was all about water. Yeah, but he hasn't made music in like 40 years, so. Also could have been McConan. It could have been fellow YouTuber Patrick CC. If you really think about it, it could have been any rapper due to the fact that our bodies are 60% water. That's always been so confusing to me. If humans are 70% water, how are we 10% luck, 20% skill, and 15% concentrated power of will? <sighs> That makes us 110%. Yeah, that's how that's how hard you're supposed to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that bit anymore, by the way. I don't care about that bit where I was oh. getting all of them right. Oh, okay. I decided cool. to pivot. I'm gonna go somewhere else with it. Cool. Oh, okay. We've got the SpongeBob Ascending meme. We've got FIFA 12 on Xbox 360. We've got a Mountain Vista. Mm. And we've got Anthony Fantano. With hair. With hair. It's a little less disturbing than I imagined. Oh yeah, I think he looks nice actually. Like it's kind of sexy. Yeah. If he wasn't so damn bald now, I'd be more into it. Three, two, one. Quadeca. Quad. It is Quadeca. Oh yeah. <laughs> Love FIFA, loves mountains. And he loves SpongeBob. And Anthony Fantano loves him. Yeah. It's like when they pave over the old baseball stadium. We've covered all our bases. Yeah. Don't it all seem to go? You don't, don't know, know what you got, got till it's gone. Hey, Field of Dreams made it a parking lot. Ooh, na, 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 na. I want Flea to have kind of a Travis Barker arc. 
where he just starts playing bass on a bunch of rap songs yes. and it's all featuring Flea. Yes. And all the videos are like the, like somebody's rapping and in the background is just shirtless, bald Flea just like freaking out on bass. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> a remote control. Mm -hmm. We've got a pink polo. The Eiffel Tower. That's the London Bridge. The Arch in St. Louis. Uh -huh. <laughs> is it the Eiffel Tower? It no, is. that's the Son of God. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> we're, on, we're on different panels. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> The Eiffel Tower, and then we've got Jesus. This is the, our sexy son of God. Ugh. Jesus. Why did we have to make him so hot? I don't know. He's such a hunk. It's weird. Yeah. And now that, like, long hair's in, every every white dude that lives in Colorado looks like Jesus. I and know. I don't like that. You know, maybe this is the time that Jesus does return because his look is so popular. It's like the ultimate test for the public. Will we recognize the son of God while every beer-loving cuck fuck in Colorado looks exactly like him. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? Will we recognize our Lord? Yeah. And will our Lord and Savior be able to resist the temptation of just sport fucking all of these girls who want to have sex with him? <laughs> and microbrews. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's gonna love IPA. I mean, he might start a grow house. Yes. You know? I mean, there's so much money. <laughs> like just Yeah, the industry is booming. Buku box. <laughs> Three, two, one. Kanye West. Kanye West. It's Kanye West. What's the Eiffel Tower for? People in Paris. Oh, okay. That makes way more sense. There's a song reference. A remote control. So it's remote control. Yeah. Oh. Wow, you don't even need the auto tune. You know what? The only thing I'm bummed about with remote control, other than Kid Cudi being taken off, is zero Adam Sandler click references. Yes. It seems so much up Kanye's alley. I think he's referenced that movie before, though. I know. He's done the Bobby Boucher thing, the Water yes. Boy. He does a lot of Adam Sandler references, Seth Rogen, Brad mm -hmm. Pitt. It's kind of his holy trinity, you know what I mean? <laughs> Of actor references. Yes. Pause my life, I know. Oh. Lose my wife at home. Watch a woman jog in slow mo. Yeah. For... Yikes. We've got a Make America Great Again hat. Is this like a pocket knife kit? It's a nail kit. Yes. It, oh, it's a nail kit. We've got Gucci and then Bitcoin. Now, in some neighborhoods, do they call it blood toe currency? I don't think so, but in those neighborhoods, I see a lot of hats that look like MAGA hats. Oh, yeah, that's confusing. Three, two, one. Lil Pump. I don't know why I wrote it like this, but I said Lil Pumperton. <laughs> it's Lil Pumperton. That still counts. Yes. It's just a little nickname I made up. Okay. Six, five. My height? No, it's not. You wish. That's your aspirational height. <laughs> oh, that's my height. You have always said, it's very weird. You're like, I'm going to hit a little growth spurt. Just one inch. Yeah. We've got black Air Force Ones, MasterCard logo, a pickle, and what is that? Six hundred dollars? Seven hundred. Like okay. Six, seven hundred dollars. Yeah. Some Benjamin Franklins, if you will. Some Benny Franks. A money fan. How can they say a hot dog takes 36 minutes off your life? Like, okay, a head-to-head -head car crash will take the rest of it off. <laughs> where's true. where's that science at? You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know how they're calculating any of this stuff. <laughs> I remember as a child, they'd be like, every cigarette takes seven minutes off your life. And I'm like, Okay, you eat a bad batch of soup and you're dead right there. Who yeah. cares? One bad, we're one bad batch of soup away from death. At all times. Yeah. Three, two, one. Cash or Kwan? Soldier Boy. It's Cash or Kwan. Yes. Because <laughs> I was like, oh, a TJX6 would be the obvious, but yeah. the pickle. I thought it'd be Soldier Boy, Rick and Morty. The pickle, pickle Rick. Rick. Oh, yeah. Ah! <laughs> Superman, them boobs. Watch these boobs. <laughs> Sorry. You know what I found out the other day? I found out it's demon time. People have been saying, like, I'm on demon time. What do you mean? I thought it was semen time. The whole time I thought everybody was saying, I'm on semen time. Oh, gross, Riley. What? Oh, you think. No, oh, no, whoa, I know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, no, I thought it was like military time, like they, oh, it's 430, like yeah, that yeah, sort yeah. of deal. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> All right. Lean and weed, kind of like a, a drug dealer's coffee table. Yes. Sort of Glock with a beam and an extendo clip. A dick, if you will. Yeah. And then we've got my friend from high school, I think. <laughs> <laughs> That's a guy that used to sell his eighths for 80. Yeah. Yeah, that's that guy. Okay. And then we've got True Religion Jeans. Trueies. Yeah. This is pretty much my childhood. Dignan as a child. Okay. <laughs> Three, two, one. Chief Keef. Chief Keef. It's Chief Keef. Oh, yeah. Chief you know what? I was about to comment on how easy this game has been so far, but rather I'd like to comment on how talented you guys are at making starter packs. Yeah. These have been really good so it's far. These been really good. I'm impressed. I'm flattered. And I'm definitely still saving myself for heaven. Next one, we've got... Oh, okay. Like a dark... 
woodland area. Okay. And then we've got a crying person. Okay. We've got a mattress on the floor, kind of the ideal setup for a room right yes. here. Like a sadness dungeon. Yeah. And then we've got a tornado. You ever seen that show, Storm Chasers? Oh, I love that show. That's the only thing. I'm not like a big thrill seeker, but storm chasing is something I would definitely do. For like a yeah. year or two, I would take a whole break from everything and just go chase storms. I think it's awesome. We could probably incorporate that into our own, like our lifestyle currently. That's true. We could chase storms and do like a, a few music videos that are just in storms. I seriously want to do like Omaha, Nebraska. That's where I want to have my home base be for two years. Okay. Where we just storm chase and we like vlog it. I'll live in Vegas during that. It's it's a quick jaunt away. Is but, it? Yeah. Then why don't you just live in Omaha with me and you just head over to Vegas? If you live in Vegas, you're going to live in Vegas. I have so many comps I need to use. I need to use those comps. We're going to be listening to comps, Saddle Creek Records compilations in Omaha, Nebraska. Oh, okay. Home of Connor Oberst of the band Bright Eyes. That sounds all right, I guess. It was an old cursive. It doesn't sound like going to prize fights. Rilo like Kylie. The Can Can Dance every uh, every Wednesday. I mean, listen, it's the heyday of indie rock. I mean, it really all came out of there. Name a more exciting time than the dawn of Saddle Creek Records. Yeah. Um, <laughs> three, two, one. Salem. That's what I guessed. Salem. Wow. I'm surprised you got that one. I'm happy to see the pride in your eyes. Especially when you said music videos with storms in them. Well, no, that's what I remembered. Right. That's what I remembered. Cool. Yeah, this is what true Midwestern witch house looks like. Sadness, disaster, despair. Crazy eights. Yeah, crazy eights. Oh. <laughs> Mentally insane eights. <sighs> I don't play well with others. Why is Easter themed like that? It's a bunny and eggs. Makes no Bunnies sense. don't lay eggs, man. <laughs> like, what's sense. the point? I don't know. It seems so odd that those two are going together. Like, it's just a bunny carrying around a bunch of eggs. Like, he stole those eggs. You know what? Let's get to this while we're here. Why is Valentine's Day? Why do I got to look at a naked baby that's threatening me with with a bow and arrow. Oh, uh, that's true. That one is weird. He's not naked, though. Absolutely naked. He's not naked. I swear he's hanging dog. No, he's wearing a diaper. <laughs> oh. You yeah. thought it was like the Nirvana baby? Yeah, I thought Sorry. it was the Nirvana baby hanging dong and shooting me with a freaking weapon. I will say that uh, as someone who has fallen in love, <laughs> yeah. uh, it does kind of feel like that. Wow. It feels like the, the arrow. Yeah. <laughs> Permanently damages you. This is how I know I haven't been in love. I always just think the other person's hot. Oh my God. Oh, Jesus. We've got this, uh, this goose sweater mm -hmm. that says wow on it. We've got a huge spoon. Massive. Unusually large spoon. A dog dressed like the Joker, which is a lot cuter than it ought to be. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, that makeup artist went off on that. And then we've got a dog with a crazy long snout. I believe that is a... Afghan hound. This isn't some sort of like iPhone camera trickery, right? It's really that long? Oh yeah. The snout really is... Oh hey, my. you can pull him up. Is it out of pocket for me to say that this dog is well endowed? Hmm. Yeah, it's out of pocket, but it's fine with me. It's cool with you? Absolutely. How about you guys? Is that cool? Is it out of pocket that when I see a giant spoon, I think about doing a, like a heroin party? Oh, yikes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's bad, right? I like that we're airing out kind of our, our worst thoughts yeah. in this little segment. Yeah. It really gets us out of our system, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? We don't have to do all those for the rest of the video. It's just right. this little section. Three, two, one. Glaive. Fuck. Eric DOA. It is Glaive. Shit! <laughs> I literally saw this dog on Twitter today. Yeah. Dang it. Yeah, I've always been so jealous of that big spoon Glaive has, you know what I mean? It's just like, I want something like that, but <laughs> I don't know where I would get one. Like, I don't know where they even sell those things. It's just like, hey, you know? <laughs> yeah, I always wish I had like a big fork or something too. <laughs> uh, Finally, you get to be the big spoon, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh. A no Tupac sign. <laughs> We've got Taco Bell, Flamin' Hot Cheetos, and a goat, a baby goat. I like this one broke the bounds of the, of the yeah. panels as well. <laughs> <laughs> the no Tupac needed to be that big. Color outside the lines, that's what my dad always said. And think outside the bun. Three, two, one. Lil Xan. Claro. <laughs> it's Lil Xan. Dang it. <laughs> I thought uh, Claro had that beef with Tupac. She always calls herself the goat. Yeah. You know, and, and she has that song. Flaming Hot Cheetos, exactly. yeah. My only gripe with this is that Lil Xan owns a bunch of Del Tacos. Oh, really? So I thought Del Taco would have been more fitting than Taco Bell. Next one, we've got a brain with some sort of flu, glowing blue eyes, piercing ice cold eyes. T-bone steak? That is a T-bone. Okay, and then Ruthless. Yeah, my boy Nick went to the year 3000 and he told me that everything, it was like the same, but everything's underwater. Three, two, one. Hobson? I guessed X. It is Hobson. The ill mind of Hobson. The ill mind. 
Jones. And wow. his eyes are, he does the glowing eye shit. Yeah. I just don't know what the steak and the ruthless are for. <laughs> I'm not a big Hobson fan, but shout out to all my Hobson fans out there. Here's a question. Yeah. There's two cups in front of you. One of them is piss, and one of them is water dyed to look like piss. You gotta drink one of them all the way down, and you get $1,000 no matter which one you drink. So I have a 50% chance of drinking piss, but a 100% chance of getting one G. Yes, but you might have to drink an entire glass of your own piss. It's my own? Yeah, it's your own. That's fine then, I'll do it. Okay, it's somebody else's. No. No, so where is the barrier? My piss or yours? No, how much money? Um. I'll go to eight, eight grand. Eight grand to drink somebody else's piss, 50-50 chance. Yes. That's cool. Ah, okay, here we go. <laughs> uh, this one is <laughs> Starbucks, Taco Bell, the crying behind the happy mask meme, and uh, Eric Rayhill at, at the casino. <laughs> yeah, my favorite place, honestly. Um, I think I know this one. Yeah, me too. Yeah. yeah. How well, though. Three, yep. two, one. Uh, Riley John Savage. I put Riley Savage. <laughs> it's Riley Savage. Riley, would you like to explain why this may or may not be an accurate starter pack for you? Uh, Starbucks, I love it. Um, absolutely bowing down to the corporate lords of Starbucks. I mm -hmm. think it's the best coffee. I need it every day. Taco Bell, best fast food of all time. Second home to me, really. Oh, uh, the third one, you know, <laughs> I appear happy. That's all. I'll stop it there. Okay. I appear happy. Fourth one, that's just like... That's just Eric, you know? That's just classic Eric Rayhill's shenanigans, you know what I mean? Cool. He's out at the casino, he's having a good time. <laughs> All right, here we go. Lil Uzi versus The World, Lil Boat 1, and then the Carter 3, mm -hmm. and then the new Nas album, which mm -hmm. I forget the name of, Nas Illmatic, and then X's question mark, and then X's mugshot. Ah, I actually got it. Oh, duh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Three, two, one. Lil Nas X. Lil Nas X. It is Lil Nas X. Lil Nas X. I see it. A triptych of Lil's. Yeah. Ow. Sorry. That's okay. And then some Nas. Yep. And then X. There you go. 13 to 10. 13 to 10. High scoring, high output. Good old fashioned barn burner. It was high octane. All right. If you guys want to participate in this, if you want to make some starter packs for us to guess from, join our Patreon, join our Discord, send them off, send them to Grant, send them to Rosie. They put together these games. Other than that, I mean, like the video, subscribe all that stuff I said at the beginning, and Dignan, our newly freed partial co-host Dignan, leave these huge, massive Dignan fans with some advice to leave or live their lives by. It's not the biggest fish you catch, it's the fight in the fish. All right, this has been Ivan TV. We love you, we appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next video. I'm gonna stab you. <laughs>I'll kill your whole family. <laughs> I think you look good. It's hat hair, bro. Stop making fun of it. It's actually helmet hair. Okay. Oh, come here, honey. Honey, come on. All right, you look great. All right. Thank you. They're gonna love you at school. Thank, Thank you, you, Riley. Yeah. We got like kind of like a drip soldier uh, uh -huh. next to his trophies, which I'm assuming are for trapping. Fashion, probably. <laughs> yeah.